Bora. My name is Arvin Bora, and I'm running for president to end the welfare state and end the income tax. On my first day of elected, I'm going to pardon Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, and Ross Ulbricht, following by every single nonviolent drug user, person who's in jail just for a weapons charge, or using cryptocurrency. But I want to talk today about one fundamental fact, which is that this culture has produced this government. And if we knock down this government today, if we got that ANCAP dream today, then this culture will recreate this exact government tomorrow. If we got rid of the federal government entirely in some permanent and unchangeable way, then this culture would do what many of you predicted during the last speaker, pass that exact same power to the states, and have the states enforce the exact same drug wars and other types of nonsense. And that's when I say this culture, I don't just mean American culture. I mean this culture. 2019, we cut a little bit of government. Both the Democrats and Republicans demanded to bring that tiny little bit of government cut right back. And even the Libertarian National Committee decried the fact that these cuts had put the lives of federal workers into turmoil. I'm running for president to put the lives of federal workers into turmoil. <laughs> to learn more about me, my website is votebora.com. Thank you, Mr. Bora. Max Abramson, uh, vote for Max is for less taxes. Uh, I do have some political experience. I've been elected and re-elected to Mike Town's budget committee. I've been elected and re-elected to the planning board, uh, where I've been able to uh, repeal minimum parking requirements, and I've been elected and re-elected to state legislature, where I now have a bill to repeal the uh, prohibition on having a ferret in your possession when you're going hunting. But I've got some more important bills. Yes, that's illegal in New Hampshire. Uh, it's also illegal to collect uh, seaweed on the beach at night. I introduced a bill a couple of years ago as part of the New Hampshire Dumbest Law Contest uh, to repeal that one. Uh, but I've got, got to give it to uh, Brandon Finney. He actually is uh, maybe uh, one of the leaders in uh, repealing outdated and ridiculous laws. Some of the ones that I haven't talked about he was able to repeal. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about is Portugal-style deep rim. I have introduced a bill, I think it's House Bill 1614, and Portugal in 2001 decriminalized all drugs. Yes, every drug. Heroin use went down by half. Drug use went down by about half. Heroin addiction rates went down by half. Uh, drug deaths went way down. Emergency room visits went way down. It saved, of course, billions of dollars. But uh, Portugal has also, also now has a 98% lower death rate from heroin than New Hampshire does. Uh, simply switching from, off to, from prison to offering treatment prevention and recovery support instead of prison has been very, very successful at reducing drug use, drug addiction, uh, drug-related crime, street crime, and many of the problems we associate with drugs. Uh, my main reason my main, main reason for running is to bring the troops home. Neither of the two major political parties are willing to do that. And I think that we need to build the Libertarian Party and target winnable races, especially in legislative races where you can have the biggest impact. Um, everyone take a look at the TBI number of your district and, and think, really think about running for a legislature. Thank you, Mr. Donovan.